stay straight line. Breathe as low into your belly as you can. While slow, steady exercises like these may seem small to the outside eye, for 17-year-old junior mountain bike racer Luke DeMarzo, they're getting him one step closer to hopefully landing on the Canadian national team. That's like my main goal is just to wear the national team jersey and the Canadian flag and be at the top. Now give yourself the end position first, right, which is bum tight, belly tight, you're up tall. If this year is any indication, DeMarzo's closer than he's ever been to reaching that dream. Along with placing 16th in this year's Test of Metal, the teen stunned even himself after nabbing a fifth place finish, racing against junior world champ Simon Andreessen at the Benelli US Cup this past spring. I went in there, like, open mind, not knowing what I would place, but to get a fifth and ninth, that gave me like a huge confidence boost to go into the rest of the season. And know I can be there, I just need to put the work in to make it happen. And that's where this guy comes in. So we're gonna go again, and then Luke, you gotta like drag it along your shins. With this summer a busy one competing in the national championships, Luke's ultimate goal to represent Canada at the world championships come September. Jay is one of many coaches who have spent the last year building up the riders' mental and physical strength here at Challenge by Choice in Squamish. You'll just be a little bit more like that, okay, and drive into the backs of your hips as much as you can. It comes down to efficiency, so if he's stronger and moving through his body better and he's got more core stability insurance and he breathes better, then every pedal stroke is going to be a lot less difficult for him to do. He was just really good to train because he came in focused and not all athletes see value in it and he did right away. Along with hitting the gym twice a week, Luke gears up to hit the local trails with his cycling academy or by himself almost every day, treating each practice as if it was race day to stay in top shape. Everyone from Ontario and Quebec, super fast riders, we're all like within 10 seconds of each other at the finish of races, so even a dab at a foot and your race could be done, so it's all super tight. Great when you could get to pass someone last lap of a race or right in front of the crowd and everyone's cheering. Coming down a roller coaster and test a medal, that's one of the best feelings. With the Barzo having also swept most local competitions, this year marking his last competing in the junior expert level category, going against the world's best bikers could be an intimidating feat for any young athlete. However, with that continued focus and dedicated team behind him, it's full speed ahead for the Squamish team. Hopefully, go for a couple more years, depends. Next year, I enter the U23 category, which will be a tough year. I'm racing against the big guys now, so. See how I play out in that category and take it from there. I just like the thrill of it. It's a really competitive field and he's really competitive right now. Uh, I just think if he keeps this mentality, he'll be a more recognizable name.